I'm going to create a new directory here called exec. And I want to show um, the differences between an optimized binary and an unoptimized binary. And this is just illustrative because I want to show like a lot of folks when you when you build your containers, um, you know, your 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 binaries are going to be pre-built. And I, I kind of wanted to give a little bit of insight into what it would look like to debug an optimized binary versus an unoptimized binary as more likely than not, if you're debugging within a container, um, you're gonna be debugging an optimized binary. So I wanted to kind of be really illustrative and show what the differences are before we start getting into the, the container aspect of it. So again, I'm going to um, create a new, Uh, go file and uh, module. And within it, I'm going to um, paste in this program. This program is pretty basic, um, but it will highlight some differences between these two debugging methods. Um, and again, I'm going to create our make file here and build it up with a few different commands. Okay. Let me add these. Okay. So um, the first thing that I that I want to do is um, we're going to go ahead and build this binary, and then we're going to use a new delve subcommand called exec to run it. And so this exec subcommand, what it does is it, it starts a debug session using a pre-compiled binary, a binary that you already have compiled and available um, on disk. So if I say make um, bin exec me, that's going to go ahead and compile our program. Um, you can see it's available right there. And now if I run make DLV exec, uh, you can see that we've run this command delve exec and we're now debugging uh, this binary. And uh, this binary is, a, is a, an optimized binary. So I wanna illustrate some, uh, some things real quick. Um, let me also, uh, just to illustrate some of the differences, let me add this um, in real quick as well. Get out of this session. Um, and let me say, okay, I'll push that up. And again, I'm gonna split my terminal here um, and I'm gonna run through this kind of quickly because I just wanna illustrate the point before we get on to the container, um, the container example. So I'm also going to run make bin um, exec me with no optimizations. So now we have two binaries here. We have exec me and exec me no optimizations. Um, and when Delve compiles this, your binary among some other flags, this is the, the, the main flag that it provides, which disables optimization during compilation. So if you need to refer back to this, um, here's here's where it here's where it is, and you can use this example um, in your own day to day development if you want to build your binary um, and and disable optimizations to to produce a more optimal binary for debugging. So in this um, terminal, I'm going to run uh, delve exec, and here I'm going to run um, delve exec no optimizations. Now. Um, on, on, in this right-hand terminal, again, we're debugging a, a binary that has optimizations disabled. So I wanna run through some commands and kind of point out some of the differences um, as we go along. So first thing that I wanna do is I wanna set a breakpoint on uh, this, this method here, um, rectangle.area. So let's say break, um, break rectangle.area. Um, and you see we have uh, this breakpoint set now. Actually, let me see something real quick. Did 
This should actually be ah. I knew something wasn't looking quite right. So this should be exec me no optimizations. So let me fix this. And I'll, I'll show you right now uh, how I knew that that, that wasn't the, the correct binary. So um, if I set this breakpoint here on rectangle that area, clear this breakpoint real quick. You see, um, we have a breakpoint set and we have we get one address returned back for rectangle that area. <clears throat> now, if you can see, we call it three times. Um, <clears throat> but as you would expect, we are, we're only setting one breakpoint. We just want to set a breakpoint on this function. Um, no matter how many times we call it, that function should only live one place, right? So that's not necessarily the case with optimized binaries. If we do the same thing in here and we set a breakpoint on rectangle that area, again, this is an optimized binary here on the left, on the right is unoptimized. On an optimized binary, you see we set a breakpoint, but we get three addresses back. What's actually happening is um, this, this function call uh, rectangle that area is being inlined in our binary. So instead of this, uh, you know, r dot area right here being an actual function call, the the instructions that make up this this function are just inlined into this uh, the main the main function. So you don't actually have a function call; you're just executing the instructions. But the debugger is smart enough to know um, how to find all of these inline calls and things like that and set the breakpoints appropriately. So you will still have a successful debug session. Um, it's just something that I like to call out as an actual difference between the two, uh, the two binaries. Now, another thing is um, when we talk about optimization, sometimes the compiler will choose to completely optimize away uh, a, a particular function or method or something like that. So um, in this unoptimized uh, binary, we can say break rectangle dot width. Um, we see that we do uh, actually get a um, uh, breakpoint there, but let me see. I think typically uh, this this must have changed in in the the newer version of a compiler because typically this would have been um, optimized out. And you wouldn't even be able to, to set a breakpoint there. Um, oh, well, actually, so this is, this is the, I'm confusing myself. Uh, this is the unoptimized um, binary. So you can see when we set a breakpoint on rectangle.width, we do actually get our breakpoint set. Um, and we get all the information back and we, we are able to actually successfully set that breakpoint. But if we try to do that over here on this side with the optimized binary, you can see that uh, this location is not found. So the compiler made the decision to basically optimize out this, this function call, um, essentially just replacing this function call with this constant here because um, the compiler is smart enough to know it's always going to return this. So it optimizes this function out. This is something that I just wanted to call out as like um, when you're debugging applications and containers and if you're debugging optimized binaries, um, you might see some weirdness like this. You might see um, a bunch of addresses come up for a breakpoint. You might you might not be able to set breakpoints on certain functions because the compiler might have optimized them out, things like that. I just like to call it out because you shouldn't be uh, surprised or thrown off by this. You can still go ahead and have a, a successful debugging session, um, but just know that in these circumstances, you might run into um, a little bit of uh, a little bit of weirdness things that you might not expect. So I just like to call out the differences between those, those two binaries. Now, um, what I like to do in the, in the longer form trainings is to actually kind of dig in in more detail about the differences between these two binaries and what they look like, how they're produced um, and, and things like that. But that's more in the longer workshop um, uh, format in this. I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a teaser of some of that material. And um, again, I think it's important uh, for folks to know when it comes to 
um, debugging binaries that aren't being created by, by Delve. Um, and especially to know how you yourself can control the, the compilation method and, and disable optimization and things like that. Mm -hmm.